right Hope everybody's doing well this evening. Uh, I know myself, I'm coming off a great weekend we had at the showcase Friday night. For those of you who were there or tuned in on live stream, uh, Kenny Huffman and Alexis Howard, both each in their own right, just completely, completely blew the house away. It was absolutely amazing. Um, next month, we're going to have Acoustic on the Rocks and Ethan Hansen in there, so I hope you guys either get on livestream.com slash outlawpoet and check us out starting at 7.30 p.m. or come in to the Marcus Square Coffee House. That will be March 28th, the fourth, fourth Friday is when we do that. Um, do a little different this time. Well, I'm going to start off with an older piece. I'm not going to not going to throw any names out there, but one of the members of our, our artistic family, we were talking on Friday night, and we were talking about some of the stuff that's real, deep, personal, um, the sort of thing that you're, you're afraid to bring to the mic because of what it lets out. And uh, I kind of I laid into her on that. I was like, don't be afraid of that. Don't be afraid of that. Um, and while I'm a firm believer, you can't talk the talk if you're not willing to walk the walk. So here's an old piece, likes of which I rarely ever do. Coming out of the shower, it is now 9 p.m. I sit back down on my bed, this time alone, remove my towel and fall backwards. I lay there, body and soul bare, arms spread as if welcoming whatever force of absolution that may pass, begging for my redemption. You see, my foul pen has just written yet another check that my heart cannot catch. My mind drifts back to when it all began, some year and two months ago. Different time, different setting, similar circumstances, same woman, same blanket. I begin to drown in these haunting recollections. In horror, I stand up, throw on a pair of boxes, pick up an ink pen and notebook. I've stopped the music, but there's another sound ringing clear in my head. Some of her last words when she walked out, listening to that same song. This must be what it's like to be dead. The essence of these events swirl around me, creating this crazy vortex, this whirlpool of, of bittersweet pain, agonizing bliss, and welcome horror. I'm sucked in and consumed, and in distaste and disgust, I abruptly stand up again, toss aside the book and pen, and trying to distract myself, I hang the towel in the bathroom, pop open that rum, and pour another drink, followed by another, and then another, and then another, and then another. But alas, it will not subside quite so easily. The specters of exoneration having already passed me by, I'm left here to rot in blank anxiety, apprehensive of the next occasion, already knowing that I shall succumb to the base primal demands, wondering why I put so low a price on my own inner peace. Repulse, I forsake the ink pen with the same casual callousness as when I utilized its predecessor. Night down yet another glass. Turn out the lights. Close my eyes. Wrap myself in a new blanket, the former having been sent to the washer and dryer of reprieve and remorse. And as consciousness fades, and the haunting tunes again play, I wonder what will come of me in the dawning of the new day. Thank you. pocket full of change. That's all I got for you right now is a pocket full of change. I don't care what price you want me to pay, all you're getting out of me is a pocket full of change. You see, it amazes me the things that some of us do with ourselves. I sit here and listen to you, crafting your words like as if you're about to present this presentation to a big company that's going to get you that billion dollar paycheck. But everything coming out of your mouth is cheap. Everything coming out of your mouth, you are lowering yourself down further and further as you try to one up higher and higher. I'm not going to give you a million dollars for it. I'll give you a pocket full of change. You see, all I got is this pocket full of change. And it amazes me the links that we will go to, the money that we will spend. 
to find some blissful, happy moments, I can show you that same blissful, happy moment on a dollar a day. Because it's not about how expensive the meal was. It's not about how much you paid for those movie tickets. It's about that feeling as I'm next to you and you're next to me. Smiling, enjoying what's on the screen. It's about that feeling when we're walking together, the sun being down upon us. <clears throat> those silent, unspoken feelings drifting between us. They are priceless. I don't even need that pocket full of change. But I'm still carrying this pocket full of change. I'm not afraid to admit, I'm picking up every dime I see you drop. So that way one day when you're wondering why everything stopped, when you're wondering why everything just came at you like that, I can say, well, let's see, you, uh, you did a little bit of this, and 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 where to get you? Everything you thought you earned is now scattered across the floor. What do you have left to carry with you? Not even a pocket full of change. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I thank every one of you who has come out here tonight and every Sunday night. Now I've I've uh, I've been doing this thing on and off for years and years and years, and it is amazing the voices that that have come through here. Um, going back to what I said earlier about being nervous and being anxious about getting on this mic or getting up in front of a group of people. I've said it once, I've said it a million times, that nervousness is nothing more than a ball of energy just waiting for you to apply it, waiting for you to release it, waiting for you to put it to whatever first caused you to put pen to paper, whatever first caused you to pluck a set of strings or beat a drum and just let it flow. Do not be afraid of yourself. Do not be afraid of what you feel. Let it out. It might be a little easier to handle. It might even be fun to handle.